when talking about determinants of matrices, first thing to remember is that the determinant of a matrix is a real number that's associated with the matrix. We use the matrix to calculate its determinant, but the matrix isn't equal to its determinant. A matrix is a matrix, a determinant is a real number. Now we only find determinants of square matrices, it's not defined for any matrix that is not square. So let's start with a 2 by 2 matrix. If I've got a 2 by 2 matrix to calculate the determinant, it's A11 times A22 minus a21 times A12. Simple calculation, it gives me a real number, the notation I use, det A, or determinant of A looking like that. So that's how we calculate the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So let's look at an example. If A is 2 minus 1, 8, 3, then the determinant of A is 2 times 3 minus 8 times minus 1. So it's 6 plus 8, which is 14. The determinant of B, and you can use either of these notations, either the lines or the word debt, you can choose. The determinant of B, minus 3 times 8, just take note, you start with the diagonal. Do not do it the wrong way around. Minus 3 times minus 8, minus 6 times 4. So that's 24 minus 24, which is 0. Later on, it will become significant whether a matrix has a 0 or non-zero determinant, and it will tell us some other things about the matrices, but we'll get to that in further sections. So that's a 2 by 2 matrix. So finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, straightforward calculation, multiply and subtract. So let's build on that. Now before we can explain how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix and bigger, we need to just define two things. The first thing is what we call the minor of a matrix, and we use the capital M for minor. Now you can read through the definition, but I'm going to explain to it it to you using this matrix C, just so that you can see with a real example, and then go back to the definition and see that that makes sense. So if I want the, remember, subscripts IJ refers to row column. So if I want M13, that means I want the minor, the one third F minor, so row one, column three. What that means is, find the determinant, the minor is a determinant, find the determinant of the matrix I've got left if I eliminate row 1 and column 3. So this, in this case, it will be 0, 2, 1, 2. And that determinant is 0, minus 2, which is minus 2. So that's the 1, 3 minor. Or if I look at M2, 2, that minor is the determinant of the matrix I get if I eliminate row 2, column 2. Row 2, column 2. So I've got 2, 5, 1, minus 4. So I've got minus 8, minus 5, which is minus 13. So that's the minor. So we're going to use that. The next thing we're defining is called a cofactor. So the cofactor Aij, again row column, is the following. Minus 1 to the power i plus j times Mij. So for the same 3 by 3 matrix, if I want, now I've got matrix C, if I want C13, we say that's minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 times the minor 1, 3. Row 1, column 3, we've already got that one, Not 2, 1, 2. So that's the cofactor, all right, of this position. And that what is what we will use to find the determinant of a matrix. All right, so let's look at a 3 by 3 matrix, and this can be expanded further. The determinant of a matrix by cofactor expansion of a specific row is the entries of the row times the cofactors. The entry of a row times the cofactors. And similarly for a column. Right. And then just to take note, for every square matrix, the value of the determinant is unique. And we can use it to determine, it can be determined by cofactor expansion along any row of column or column. We'll get there. Let's take a look. So using this formula, let's take a look at this matrix C we've worked with. To find the determinant of C, what we do is we pick any row or column, and I'll show you that it works. Let's pick the first row, just because it's the easiest to start off with. What that determinant is, is this first entry, which is 2, times the cofactor, row 1, column 1, plus 1, this second entry, times the cofactor, row 1, column 2, plus 5, times the cofactor, row 1, column 3. 
So what that means is we start with this 2. That's 2. The cofactor of that one is minus 1. The position is 1 and 1, so it's 1 plus 1, times the minor. Delete that row and column, and I'm left with 2, 3, 2 minus 4. All right, done with that one. Plus my second entry, 1, times minus 1 to the power row 1, column 2, so 1 plus 2, times the minor, delete the row, delete the column, I'm left with 0, 3, 1, minus 4. Plus the last one in the row, 5, times minus 1, row 1, column 3, times the minor, delete that row, delete that column, 0, 2, 1, 2. So now it's just calculations. Minus 1 to the power 2 is just 1, so I've got 2 times minus 8, minus 6 is minus 14. Minus 1 to the power 3 is minus 1, so I've got minus 1 times 0 times minus 4 is 0 minus 3, so that's minus 3. Minus 1 to the power 4 is just 1, so it's plus 5 times 0 minus 2. And there we go. Minus 28 plus 3 minus 10 gives me minus 35. And that is the determinant of this matrix C. Now we said you can use any row or column to calculate the determinant. Well, the determinant is unique, so I should get the same answer if I use a different row of column. So let's use column 2 and see if this works. So we're going to calculate the determinant of C again. It's 1 times minus 1 to the power row 1, column 2, 1 plus 2. And the minor is delete that row and that column, and I've got 0, 3, 1, minus 4. Plus 2, we're here now, row 2, column 2, so 2 to the power minus, times minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2, times the determinant, delete those, 2, 5, 1, minus 4 plus the last entry, which is 2, times minus 1, the exponent, row 3, column 2, and 2, 5, 0, 3 is determinant. All right, so let's do the calculation. 1 plus 2 is 3, minus 1 to the power 3 is minus 1, so I've got minus 0, minus 3, so it's minus, minus 3. Minus 1 to the power 4 is just 1, so it's plus 2 times Minus 8 minus 5, so it's minus 13. Minus 1 to the power 5 is minus 1, so it's minus 2 times 6. So I've got 3 minus 26 minus 12, which again gives me minus 35. Now you can do this exercise along row 2, along column, or row 3, column 1, column 3. You will get the same answer every time. You might make calculation errors. But once you fix them, the answer will be the same. And that's the beauty of cofactor expansion. We end up with the same answer. And it seems like we're doing totally different calculations. And that's the beauty of determinants.